everyone today we are going to see about pairing and magnetic declination we have already seen about uh, whole circle pairing and the quadrantal pairing in the previous videos so uh, jumping into what is meant by four pairing and back pairing i have a open traverse here uh, it is uh, let us say uh, the lines are a b b c and c d and uh, these are the control points a b c and d so uh, i have to find the four bearing and back bearing of this line so the four bearing of ab is this this angle theta next uh, the four bearing of bc is same from the north to the line from the north to the line from the north to uh, you don't have any line here so you can't find the four bearing so this is all about four bearing from this we can see that the four bearing is measured in the direction of progression of the survey next coming to back bearing uh, the back bearing of line ab is from the north uh, since it is back bearing i'm going to start from the end point from the north b Till here, from the uh, zero degree or the north, or you can say uh, you can tell anything from here till the uh, circle touches the line. Same for this uh, line, the back bearing is going to be this. For this line, it's going to be this. From this pattern, we can see that the back bearing is measured opposite to the pro progression of the surveying. In four bearing and back bearing, we have something interesting. So let me take. Uh, the line AB. The forbearing of the line AB is uh, this theta. It is something like this. Next, uh, let me take uh, the back bearing of AB. It is something like this. Something like this. So, now when I subtract the forbearing with the back bearing, I will eliminate this part, right? This part will be eliminated. The part equal to this will be eliminated. What I get is going to be one linear line. So the angle of one straight line is nothing but 180 degrees. This is true in every cases. The uh, uh, difference between the back bearing and fore bearing will always be equal to 180 degree. So from this, if we know back bearing, we can find fore bearing and vice versa. So back bearing is equal to four bearing plus or minus 180 degree. It is uh, plus when four bearing is less than 180 degree. It is minus when four bearing is greater than 180 degree. Let's say my four bearing is uh, 130 degree. I need to find my back bearing. In that case, our uh, four bearing is less than 180 degree, so it is plus. So my back bearing is nothing but 130 plus 180 which is 310 degrees this is how i'll get my four back bearing if i have four bearing and vice versa next magnetic declination uh, true north is always going to be constant but the magnetic north it varies depending upon your location and other local attractions the horizontal angle between the true north and the magnetic north is called as the magnetic declination. It occurs due to many reasons but uh, it can also be correct. Say I have taken a reading using my magnetic north and only afterwards I came to know that there has been a magnetic declination. So in this case when I need my true bearing I have a formula here. The formula goes like this magnetic bearing plus or minus declination. This horizontal angle is my declination and magnetic bearing is any uh, bearing that we have already taken. So uh, the same like uh, for, uh, the four bearing and back bearing we have conditions for plus and minus plus if it is east and eastern declination and minus if it is western declination. So I have a, a small clue here like the clue which I uh, kept so that I can remember is uh, western uh, which is like this and the mirror image is going to be like this like m and m for minus giving a quick example uh, say my uh, magnetic bearing is south 45 degrees west i need to find my true bearing how will you find 
my magnetic declination is 5 degrees west in this case what will be your answer so it is simple I have my magnetic pairing my magnetic pairing and I have my declination my declination is towards west so I have to minus so my true bearing is going to be south 45 minus 5 40 degrees west that's it simple uh, next we have some few definitions uh, they are isogonic lines isogonic lines we know that iso means same so uh, the isogonic lines are the lines connecting points having same declination same magnetic declination next is agonic lines a means absence so there is not going to be any declination in those lines so agonic lines are the lines joining points having zero declinations next is a simple concept called dip uh, dip is the inclination of the needle with respect to horizontal dip is zero at the equators and 90 degrees at the poles thank you so much for watching guys hope you got this concept clear Please do like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.